Uh, hello everyone again. Uh, today I have uh, Ford Connect, Ford Transit Connect uh, 2006 with the 1.8 TDDI engines. And uh, the engine code is, I think what's the, the this is the engine code BHPA for Transit Connect 1.8 D T D D I 2000 to 2006. So today uh, I'm going to uh, test the uh, manifold absolute. Uh, pressure sensor as you can see here uh, this is manifold absolute pressure sensor or map sensor and uh, <coughs> uh, uh, let's uh, go first to the uh, wiring diagram and the uh, sensor wiring diagram layout so uh, number one pen number one for the sensor is the uh, 5 volt reference voltage so that's sh the, the, this 5 volt reference voltage is shared with the exhaust gas recirculation valve as well and number pen number 2 is uh, the signal uh, voltage wire connected to the ECU at pen 34 and the uh, pen number 3 is the sensor ground so what am I going uh, am I going to do? Uh, I am uh, going to connect the red lead lead of the scope meter to <coughs> pen number two, which is signal wire of the sensor, and the black lead of the scope to pen number three, which is the ground wire of the sensor. Then I'm go I will measure the voltage at ignition at, at, at on position. So <clears throat> then I'm going to apply some pressure to the uh, uh, manifold absolute pressure sensor and see changing in the voltage value. And also I'm going to uh, uh, connected the scanner at the same time and see the live data uh, through the scanner or on the scanner screen as well. So, red lead of the scope meter is going to be on number two, pen number two, and the uh, black lead of the scope meter is going to be on pen number three or wire number three or <clears throat> on the uh, sensor connector. Okay, as you can, can see, this is the MAP sensor or abs manifold absolute pressure sensor. I have connected the uh, read uh, probe uh, to uh, pen number two, which is the signal wire, and uh, the black uh, probe uh, pen. Uh, to the uh, uh, number two uh, pen of the connector uh, of the uh, uh, s s absolute mani manifold absolute pressure sensor and also this is the <coughs> pressure uh, line which has come from the uh, inlet manifold as you can see and that is connected to the, the pressure sensor I'm not sure if you are able to see so that's actually connected here and uh, I have removed this and I have connected the uh, pressure or vacuum pump to this one as you can see if you follow this, and I have connected this uh, vacuum pressure pump, pump instead of 
Okay. That's this one. And I have removed this one and connect the amp uh, to the <coughs> manifold absolute pressure. And now I'm going to take the data and apply the uh, pressure and see changing in the voltage value and also changing in the uh, manu manifold absolute pressure in uh, on the scanner screen. Okay, <coughs> this is a four transit connect 1.8 diesel engine and now we are going to uh, test the map sensor on it. Uh, as you can see on the scanner the ignition is on and the engine is off and uh, we have got uh, <coughs> Uh, let me okay on on the top of the list uh, as you can see uh, manifold absolute pressure uh, sensor uh, value is uh, 100 kilopascal it's one bar and manifold absolute pressure sensor two is <coughs> also 100 kilopascal which is one bar and uh, manifold uh, absolute uh, pressure sensor uh, uh, voltage is 1.51 and also <coughs> here uh, I have uh, connected the uh, voltmeter to the uh, sensor itself as uh, and the, uh, this uh, and the uh, yellow lead is to the sensor signal wire and the black lead of the <coughs> scan uh, the scope meter is on the uh, uh, ground wire of the sensor and as you can see here, there we have got uh, 1.42 volts of the live data from the sen sensor actual value from the sensor and also the scanner is, is processing this through the uh, ECU and we have got 1.5 volt so here <coughs> now uh, here I have got vacuum pump and uh, I have connected the vacuum the pressure vacuum pressure pump to the <coughs> uh, map sensor and now I'm going to uh, apply some pressure to the sensor and see uh, changing in the value on the scanner and the scope meter uh, or voltmeter as well so as you can see I have applied approximately 11 bar uh, uh, sorry 11 uh, psi of pressure and as you can see on the scanner uh, the manifold absolute pressure volt has changed from 1.51 to uh, 2.91 and also the manifold absolute pressure has raised from 100 kilopascal to 170 kilopascal and also as you can see the voltage <coughs> has raised from 1.41 uh, to 2. 8 for <coughs> so that can prove that our uh, sensor uh, uh, data or uh, signal voltage uh, is changing when we apply pressure to the sensor and also uh, that can approve that the uh, signal <coughs> the sensor signal voltage is processing through the ECU and as you can see everything is <coughs> now I'm going to <coughs> as we have still got here we still got 11 uh, psi pressure now I'm going to drop this pressure to zero and you watch the uh, scanner and uh, so I have just dropped the pressure to zero and as you can see, the data has returned back to its uh, engine of uh, ignition on position, ignition on engine of uh, uh, status or value.
and as you can see the <coughs> Uh, voltage value from the sensor is also 1.49 so ignition is on engine is off <coughs> and <coughs> the no pressure applied to the sensor so now it proves that our uh, circuit integrity is okay and the function of the sensor is all right and uh, the uh, signal voltage which uh, uh, is called the ECU input which uh, is received by the ECU and that's out uh, and its output of the uh, sensor uh, this signal is processing in the ECU well. 